All right, in this video, I'm going to do one more example of graphing a piecewise defined function. So here in, in this particular case, notice we've got a function that sort of has three parts. It looks like the line y equals negative 2 if x is uh, less than or equal to negative 3. Looks like 4 minus x for x values in between negative 3 and 0, not including either. And it looks like the line y equals x if x is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so here is, uh, here's my little graph, so I'm just going to do them kind of in order here. Uh, if you think about the first equation, y equals negative 2, y equals negative 2 is just a horizontal line at the y value of negative 2. So let me drop down here negative 1, negative 2 units. But it says it only looks like uh, this line y equals negative 2 for x coordinates that are less than or equal to negative 3. Okay, so it looks like that line, but we don't get the whole line. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. It says it only looks like that for x coordinates uh, starting at negative 3. And then it says it has, uh, it has that shape forever and ever and ever for all x coordinates less than or equal to negative 3. So it says we're getting that, that segment of the line up to and including negative 3, but then it stops. Okay, I recognize the second equation, y equals 4 minus x. That's simply a line. We could actually rewrite this as negative x plus 4. That's a line with a y-intercept of positive 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, um, and a slope of negative 1, so I know it's pointing downwards. Um, let me give myself a little more room here, 5, 6, we'll say 7's up here. Again, what I do, I always just plug in the endpoints. So if I were to plug negative 3 into this, I would get 4 minus negative 3, or 4 plus 3, which would give me 7. But since it's not including negative 3, I'm going to put an open circle up there. Okay. If I plug in the value, if I plug in the other endpoint, 0, I would get 4 minus 0, which would give me 4. But again, since it doesn't include the value 0, I'm going to make an open circle there. So I'm kind of finding the endpoints. And again, since this is a line, and it, it, it does look like the line for all x coordinates in between, I can just play connect the dots uh, with a straight line. And that'll now be the, the portion of the graph y equals 4 minus x. So again, here was a y equals negative 2 down here. And last but not least, if we graph the last little segment, y equals x, well again, I just plug in the value. If I plug 0 in, well, I get 0 out, so that means 0, 0 is on the graph. And y equals x is just our kind of uh, line that goes through the origin, kind of makes it like a 45 degree angle. Um, but again, it, it only looks like this line y equals x for x values greater than or equal to 0. So to me, that's only the right portion of the graph. So now I'll just make it extend on forever and ever and ever. And there's our line y equals x. And hey, now we're in business. We've got our nice piecewise defined function.